Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the F8 key for safe mode to fix problems with programs and drivers you might be having on your Windows 7 computer. So this should be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So what I would recommend doing would be to restart your computer. So if your computer is already turned on, you want to restart it. And while your computer is restarting, you want to tap the F8 key on your keyboard. And then this will launch the Windows 7 um, boot options or advanced boot menu. And then from here, I'd recommend using your up and down arrow keys to scroll down or click down until you get to safe mode with networking. Then you want to hit enter once you have selected that option. Okay, and if you had a password on your computer, you might be prompted to fill it in there. So now that we're on safe mode, I recommend opening up the start menu and going underneath programs and features. And you want to uninstall any recent programs you might have had on your computer. So anything you might think has been causing this problem, you want to remove it from your computer right through here. And once you've done that, before you restart your computer, you also want to go underneath the start menu, type in device manager and underneath control panel you want to select device manager here and now you want to go to where it says network adapters and click on the little plus sign next to it in the box and now whatever's listed here you want to right click on it and then left click on uninstall click on OK and then once you restart your computer it should become reinstalled and then like I said restart your computer here and like I said, if you had any other issues, I'd recommend taking a look at them there. And there are ways to resolve Windows problems as well through Windows 7 Recovery Media Disk. Or if you have the Windows 7 installation media, like if you're actually going to install Windows 7, there's an option to repair your computer. And there are different commands you can run, and you have definitely more functionality when you're going off of a CD or DVD like external media. So keep that in mind. It can definitely be helpful. But I just wanted to put that out there, and I do hope that this method will help you guys resolve your problems here. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.